Hello and welcome to the Factory Talk Motion Analyzer training. In this session, we will focus on using the solution search. After completing this session, you should be able to find a solution for your application based on preferred product families and check your solution performance and search for an alternative solution based on application or customer needs. One thing you'll notice when you start sizing is that there is not a single solution for an application but many. Motion Analyzer will help us avoid the biggest problem, undersizing. It will also prevent you from oversizing that will potentially have a big impact on the project cost. But not only that, it will help you choose between several good solutions. You have seen on previous modules how to enter your application data. Before searching for the best solution, we need to select product families. The more you narrow down the selections, the faster and more efficient the search will be. Start by selecting one gearbox family. If you don't have any special requirements for the gearbox and you don't know where to start, Precision Economy from Apex and CP from Wittenstein are good enough for many applications. It is a good practice to know which family of products we are going to use in advance. On the Motor tab, choose the motor family you intend to use. Also for the drive family, it is good to know in advance what solution we are going to use. You may want to find solutions for multiple families at once, but that would make the search slower and the results a little bit more confusing. It's better to find solutions for one family at a time. It's important to select the AC line voltage and the number of phases the customer is going to use. Once your families are selected, you are ready to start the search. Motion Analyzer will check your application requirements and will find the best solution for it. When the search is done, Motion Analyzer will prompt a list of the valid solutions for your application. Sometimes you'll see that there are a lot of them, but it's easy to see what makes them different by having a quick look at the bar graphs on the right. Normally, the best solutions appear high on the list but before picking one solution, you may want to compare the solutions offered. Once you pick one of the options, you will be able to analyze the solution and see the torque speed trend of the motor. Sometimes just having a look at the working points in the trend, together with the bar graphs on the right, is enough to get an idea of the performance of the solution. If you want to check the solution in detail, you can use the menu bar that you have on the right pane. Through this menu, you will be able to see more details of the drive, motor, and gearbox performances for this application. You'll see that there are several solutions for your application and making the final decision is worth a conversation with your customer. Showing them different options and analyzing the pros and cons of each one will bring the best solution and reinforce the confidence in it. Now let's go back to FTMA to search and select the motor and drive combination that fits the conveyor application we've been working on. First off, let's go to our project tree and double click the motor section. The Components tab will open, showing the components we had already added in the previous training modules. On the bottom half of the page, we can see the motor options we can choose from. We can either add a custom induction motor or select a motor from the catalog. Let's select a motor family from the catalog. The motor families will appear at the bottom of the page. Our customer prefers the single cable solution, so let's select the VPL family. Let's scroll to the side to see our motor selection. Next, let's select our drive family by clicking on Add Drive. The drive families will appear at the bottom of the page as well as the power requirements. Always make sure that you have your power requirements set correctly. Our customer requirements are 400 volts three phase.
Our customer prefers the Kinetics 5700 family, so let's select it. Let's scroll to the side to confirm our drive selection. If we open the right pane for the application requirements, we can see the application requirements applicable to the motor and the drive, considering the load, the motion profile, the mechanism, and the transmission. In our case, we don't have a specific motor selected yet, so the drive's requirements can be shown yet. Now, we're ready for the solution search. Let's click on Next Step. Let's click on Save to save the project and start the solution search engine. We've got quite a lot of results. If you ever get no results, you can always show the partial and not recommended combinations to better understand your system requirements and try adjustments. Let's select the first solution with the highest match percentage and then click on Next Step. The axis analysis will show us how much of the motor and drive's capacities we are using. This can be analyzed through the torque speed graph or using the tables on the right hand side. Based on this analysis, we are now better informed and can go with the current solution or pick another drive and motor combination. Or even, if it's the case, make modifications to the motion profile, the mechanics or transmissions. This is how a sizing and selection is done in Factory Talk Motion Analyzer. By now, you should be able to find a good solution for a given application using Motion Analyzer Online and analyze several options and work together with the customer to select the one that fits better their needs. You have now completed this training module. Thank you for watching.